Hello and welcome to Import and Clean Bank Activity. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. We have exported some transactions from our banking website. So we've logged in, we've gone to you know account activity, clicked export and downloads a, a CSV file. It's a standard comma separated values file. Our objective is to get this stuff into Excel clean so that we can summarize it in a pivot table. So we head to the Git and Transform Data Ribbon group on the Data Ribbon tab and hit From Text CSV. We browse to our CSV file and click Import. Okay, Excel connects to that data source, opens up a preview. If this was all we needed to do, we could just click Load and we'd be done. But our data needs to be cleaned up a little bit and get prepared for our use. So we're going to click Edit. And this is going to open up the Query Editor where we can you know, click a bunch of buttons to create a, a series of applied steps um, to perform transformations or, or preparation steps to get this data ready for, for us. The first thing we need to do is remove some, some columns. So I'm just going to click the first column, hold down the shift key, click the last column in the range, and then use this remove columns. Okay, easy enough. Next, I'm going to rename these, these column labels. So this first one will be called date. I'm just going to double click the existing column label and change it to amount, hit enter. And this one is description. Enter. All right, now we need to create a new column that we can use as report groups with our pivot table. It's going to kind of describe each transaction type. So I'm going to click add column. There's a bunch of fun choices here to explore. Right now, the one I'm after is called conditional column. So I click that. And in this dialog uh, is where we can define a series of rules. All right. So the first thing is our new column name. We're going to call it type. Now we set up the first rule. The first rule is, um, you know, if the amount is a positive number, we're going to call it deposit. So if the amount column is okay, greater than zero, then we want to output a label deposit. Okay, if that is not true, then what are we going to do? Well, we're going to say if the description contains uh, some text, so we're going to take um, negative values and we're going to assign it in a couple of broad categories. So if the description contains the text bill pay, and by the way, this is case sensitive, so whatever we type in here has to match the description. So if it's bill pay, then we're going to call it a check. All right, if that is not true, then what? Well, then if the description contains the text, uh, let's see, purchase authorized, then it is going to be a, an ATM or a debit card purchase. So we'll just call it debit card. And we could assign additional rules as desired. Um, but otherwise, if none of these rules apply, then we're just going to call it a charge. Okay, and once our rules are set up, we just click OK. And let's just spot check these to make sure they look good here. So the first one has the text bill pay, so it was properly um, classified as a check. The next one has purchase authorized, that's a debit card purchase. The next one is a positive value deposit, the next one's deposit. And the next one doesn't meet any rules, so it's called a charge. So these look good. Okay, so now we need to get this data back to Excel. So I'm going to hit close and load to. I'm going to send it to a table and hit load. This is going to send the results table back to Excel. And here we could, you know, apply some sorts or filters if we wanted to. But ultimately, we just want to summarize this in a pivot table report. So I'm just going to insert pivot table and hit OK. And at this point now, we can create any report shape we want. Maybe we want to view it by type with the sum of amount. That's fine. Or maybe we want to put the description in the type. That would be fine. Or maybe we want to view it, you know, with date across the top with no description. That's fine. So we can really create whatever type of pivot table report that we wanted to. And we could clean it up cosmetically. Right click, number format, number, no decimals, comma. Um, and that would be fine. Or we could show the decimals. Maybe we were doing some kind of a bank rec and we want to make sure we look good. That would be fine too. We could throw this description down here, you know, whatever we want. So anyway, the real, the real key was how do we bring this CSV file in 
cleaned up by the time it hits the Excel workbook. Okay. And now we save, close, move on with our life. And life is good. Even next period, because next period, what we can do is go back to our banking website, download some new banking activity. And as long as we replace the old CSV file, in other words, we save the new CSV file in the same folder with the same file name as before, all we need to do now is hit refresh all. And Excel is going to uh, to go, oops, Excel is going to go back out and, and it's basically going to refresh this, uh, this results table by pulling in the new data from the CSV file, applying those series of applied steps, and that is going to feed right into uh, this pivot table report. So anyway, that's some fun with a get and transform query. Hope this helps you get your work done faster. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.